Hey guys, Deadly here. In today's video, we're going to be doing a bunch of mini microwave experiments. All right, for our first experiment, we have a bunch of aluminum foil crushed up and put into a little empty glass bottle. Stop it now and see if any of the aluminum is fusing together. Ah, we broke the glass. Damn it. <laughs> nope, no fusing. I don't think anyway. I'll have to double check after. Well, since the bottle's already broken, we may as well have some fun. Well, I was hoping for more of a bang, but still pretty cool. LED light bulbs. Next up, everybody's favorite CD in the microwave. Just gonna prop it up on a little piece of uh, pipe so we can see a little better. Oh, left it in for too long. Damn. It is pretty cool though, but left it in for way too long. I'm gonna grab a different one. All right, round two for the CDs. This is a fresh CD. Much better. Very cool. All right, next on the list is one of these little desiccant bags. It says, do not eat. It does not say, do not microwave. Really thought something would have happened by now. Hmm. Not even hot. All right, let's try that again. Cheating this time. Oh, I think something did happen to it. Still did not pop like I was expecting though. Hmm. Not what I was expecting the insides to look like either. Bizarre. You know, oddly enough, I've never ever tried an aluminum can in the microwave. It is doing something. I figured the tab would go right away. Or is that just the plate? 
It might just be the plate because I've got so much shit burned in there that stuff barks up by itself. Might have just been the plate. Yep, aluminum can's no fun. I wonder what would happen if we put two of these things in back to back. Any different effect, I wonder? Maybe I should put that piece of pipe back under it again, just so it's not right down on the ground. Let's see. Doesn't need long in there. Virtually the exact same effect. Oh, that's pretty cool though. Huh. This one kind of went in concentric lines. Usually they don't follow that sort of a pattern. That is actually really cool. See how the other ones follow or don't follow any sort of a pattern? This one Definitely following a pattern. I might keep this. So one thing that I had happen a long time ago when I microwaved a pencil is the lead actually shot right out of it. I suspect though what happened is that the uh, the graphite inside of the pencil itself must have been broken and it would have arced between where it was cracked. So I'm going to try... see hopefully that put a crack or two in it hopefully it happens these will just plain old catch right on fire if you leave them in for too long yeah Ooh. interesting Lead is still in there, however. Maybe we'll let it cool down and try it again. Actually, let's try this. If that don't work, I don't know what will. Okay, so that didn't go so well. So you know what? Grand finale. Um, I had an old guy that I worked with gave me a bag of miscellaneous stuff out of his toolbox. Just out of his junk drawer, I guess, when he left. Um, lots of cool stuff. Let's see if any of it is fun in a microwave. That wasn't all the stuff, by the way. That was just a couple pieces. But Sorry, a little technical difficulty there. But uh, you can see it's all the same stuff. And now we wait. Oh yeah, something's working. Oop. I think everything except the fuse so far. Okay, I wanna have a look. Ooh, okay. Did the fuse pop, I wonder? fuse did not pop. I'm going to take the fuse out and we'll run the rest of this for a little bit longer. So it looks like our winners, we had a couple cool arcs coming off of this, which I can still use actually. That's for a, uh, for a saw. I think my saw takes the exact same blades. 
for a jigsaw, yeah. Dip switch, I thought was arcing, but maybe not. Maybe I might have to try that after just by itself. <clears throat> but the real winner was this guy. Doesn't smell very good though. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.